Hallo Leute, willkommen zurück bei Lone Echo. Ja, in der letzten Folge haben wir den äh, Reaktor hier aktiviert, den ihr hier im äh, Vordergrund quasi seht. Ja, und jetzt äh, müssen wir wieder zurück und ich glaube, das wird gar nicht so einfach. Dann schauen wir mal. Weil das ganze Schiff jetzt wieder Energie hat und äh, überall diese komischen Viecher dann auch Energie haben. Schauen wir mal, was uns jetzt hier begegnet. Alles lebt wieder. You must be joking. As predicted, our repairs appear to have disturbed the biomass. I recommend caution. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Oh, yeah. I am unfamiliar with that member of the crew. Okay, es kommen immer wieder Impulse und dann lebt das Zeug direkt auch wieder. Das heißt, wir haben immer nur ganz kurz, wo es tot ist oder inaktiv. Shields at 95%. Those festhalten und gucken. You can use your scanner to activate them. I'll look for an IO port. Okay, und das sagt uns jetzt was? Kann ich irgendwas machen? Nö, nicht wirklich. Wir fahren dann direkt immer aus. Kann es das jetzt irgendwie helfen? Ich bin mir nicht sicher. Das wird nicht einfach. Ich weiß nicht, was die Dinge uns bringen sollen. Einfache Witze durch jetzt auch nicht. Ich weiß aber nicht, ob wir wirklich auch alle, alle starten müssen. Das wäre blöd, wenn wir das jetzt nicht machen. Conduit clear. Almost there. We need to reconnect the main power conduit. Just be careful. Mal aufladen, the ja. current is now live. Ow! Thanks for the warning. Jetzt ruckelt's wieder bei mir. Jesus, ja. you're worse than Jack. You're welcome. Okay. System coming online. Ich meine, auf dem Video äh, ruckelt das nicht. Das ist irgendwie seltsam, aber gut. Sieht gar nicht so einfach aus jetzt hier. Kann man hier drunter? Um an der Dach ran vorbeizukommen, ohne dass die kaputt gehen. Ja. Hat auf jeden Fall geklappt. Ist aber auch nicht, ob wir richtig sind hier. Ne. Wir müssen sogar da lang. Oh. Nirgendwo hängen bleiben. Ich 
Oh Gott. Das hat mich aber gut erwischt, das Ding. Wir müssen bestimmt hier lang. Ich glaube, wir sind mal richtig. Okay, Strahlung ist hier warm vorhanden. Oder bin ich von hier gekommen? Das ist wie so ein kleines Labyrinth hier. Ich glaube, einen richtigen Weg gibt es hier nicht. Irgendwie daran vorbei, ohne dass sie explodieren. Ja, super. von da, oder? Ich hätte sich das echt zurückgefahren, äh, geflogen. Nee, doch nicht. Hier sind wir doch richtig. Sieht aber echt immer alles gleich aus irgendwie. Na komm, die kriegen wir doch noch. Jack. Good, you're here. Ja, ich bin hier. Well, we're about ready to repressurize the chamber. Jack, please seal the vent doors behind you before attempting to activate the system. Okay, wir können schließen. Da hinten wahrscheinlich auch. Jack, we will need to seal the vent doors before we continue. Pressure seal verified. We can now cycle the flow control from the main console. Warning. Oxygen levels critical. What was that? Nothing. It means we should hurry. Flow control open and stable. Exercise caution around vent openings during gas infusion. Oh, thank God for that. That's good. So, our stuff comes wieder rein. Rising. Oxygen outflow higher than anticipated. Attempting to compensate. Warning. Pressure unstable. What happened? Unknown. Attempting to compensate. Oh, pressure levels falling. There's a breach. Can you locate it? I'm unable to pinpoint a specific disturbance. Meaning what exactly? Meaning the ship's so riddled with holes he can't find the leak. If you keep ramping up the pressure, you could tear a hole in the hull. Apollo! Shut it down. Unable to maintain atmosphere. Shit. We need to find a sector that we can repressurize. The bridge is the most heavily reinforced section of the vessel. It likely survived the bombardment. How far? The bow of the ship. I'm opening the bulkhead into the main gangway. I have redirected your fury transport to meet us. Okay, wo geht's jetzt denn auf die Brücke? Ja. Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Return to habitat. Better hurry. Ich muss mich einmal kurz drehen. So, jetzt bin ich wieder da. Ja, okay. Sieht nicht gut aus für Olivia. Wir müssen sie auf jeden Fall auf die Brücke bringen. Was ist unser Fury-Transporter? Select your destination. Wo ist Olivia? Ah, sie kommt. Müssen wir erstmal warten, ich will jetzt nicht ohne sie wegfliegen. Komm! Beeil dich! Keine Zeit!
Jetzt bereit? Ja, sieht so aus. Destination, US and Australia. Punch it. Preparing for thruster ignition. Please hold Just go! Activating thrusters. Wo ist die hin? Die hing doch gerade noch da, oder? Apollo, are you certain the bridge can withstand pressurization? As certain as I can be. The bridge is one of the most structurally sound areas on the entire ship. I would estimate our chances of success are roughly one in three. One in three, huh? Well, I'd really hate to have to live on those odds. Unfortunately, Captain Rhodes, you do have to live on those odds. That was sarcasm, Apollo. She was joking. This hardly seems like an appropriate time for levity. Never mind. Just get us to the bridge. I'm too sure that thing here. Fury transporter. You caught my joke. It was a good jump, Liv. Try and stay focused. We're nearly there. Oh. Oh, the anomaly wieder. Apollo, another EM fluctuation. They're increasing in magnitude. We can deal with the fluctuations later. Right now, our only focus is helping to keep Liv alive. Agreed. Approaching command deck. Reducing speed. Boah, das sieht so geil aus. Wahnsinn. Muss man echt erlebt haben, wenn man eine VR-Brille hat. So, auch überall da die Biomasse. Here we are. The large door up ahead will take us to the command deck. Ah, kleiner Bug im Spiel. Ah, ich würde sagen. Check das mal aus. Muss ich jetzt. Muss ich die jetzt abholen? Kann die nicht mehr? Olivia, wake up. What? Yeah. I'm here. Oh, it's from Bruce. Let's go on. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I, I just, just give me a minute. No, we haven't got a minute. Go ahead and lead the way. I'll be right behind you. Okay. Shut up! O2, down to 1%. We need to get you to the bridge. Alright. Get the door. Yeah. Hit the Apollo on our opening can here. Why must we do it ourselves? Oh, it's not looking good for Olivia. Come on, let's go. Oh, ich muss sie wieder aufwecken. Oh je. Yeah. Liv? Liv, wake up. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I I'm here. Ja, dann komm. Just a bit lightheaded. Let's, uh, let's just keep moving. The bridge is just up ahead. I don't see any spores on this deck. Okay, no, kommt auf jeden Fall noch hinterher. Contamination of any kind. Got to be a good sign, right? Come not necessarily. The biomass primarily spreads through the ventilation system. Until we can inspect the vents, we cannot assume this deck is safe. Apollo, I, I really hope you weren't the one in charge of morale on this ship. We will need authorization from a command crew member to open the bridge airlock. We don't have time for protocol, Apollo. I'm sorry. But we cannot access the bridge without voice. Just unlock the damn door, Apollo. Voice authorization accepted. Airlock controls released. Okay. Oh. Oh. 
Sterb uns hier nicht weg, Olive. Liv? Olivia. Ja, sorry. I'm good. Just hold on. It won't be long now. Captain Rhodes, I suggest you take your place at the command station. And please try to remain conscious. Yeah. Now, Jack, in order to restore atmospheric pressure, I will need to rewrite the bridge logic core. You will find it near the forward console. Core located. The rewrite procedure is identical to the one we performed in life support. Understood. I'll move the core to the overwrite slot. Core in place. Proceeding with scan. Rewrite successful. Copy. Returning core. Ein? Yeah. Core locked in. Do you have, have access? Affirmative. I now have full control of all essential bridge functions. How long will it take to repressurize the cabin? Accessing environmental controls. Stand by. Warning. Oxygen reserves depleted. Return to habitat oh immediately. Jack. My... My O2 tank zeroed out. It's going to be all right, Liv. You're going to make it. I'm scared, Jack. I know. Just hold on. I'm going to help you. Oh, God. I can't. Apollo, I can't breathe. we need life support now. I'm afraid we have another complication. Oh, no. What is it? I'm detecting trace amounts of the biocontaminants in the bridge ventilation system. Any attempts to repressurize will flood the bridge with poisonous spores and kill the captain. Tell me what to do. The bridge environmental system consists of four air vents. You'll need to inspect each one. Incinerate any spores you find with your reactive cutter. Got it. Okay, alle Dinger checken, ob da irgendwelche Sporen drin sind. Und die killen. Jack. Jack, I can't see. Oh God. Blurry. Nitrogen levels in her blood are rising, activating an emergency medical capsule. Liv, you have to stay with me. Keep your eyes open. I, I can't. I can't. Yes, oh, yeah. you can. Focus. Oh, God. This isn't... This isn't happening. Please, Liv. I need you to stay with me. Jack. That's right? Hey. Hold on. Just hold Jack, on, Liv. You know what? You know what? I... I'm not really sure. I wanted to go to Ceres anyway. I had to do everything done. Apollo? Liv. Liv. She's lost consciousness. The vents are clear. Re-engage life support, now! Accessing environmental controls. Restoring atmospheric pressure. Oxygen outflow, nominal. Apollo? All integrity is holding steady. It's working. Atmospheric pressure restored. Habitable zone established. Breathable atmosphere detected. Liv? Olivia? Negative respiration. She's still not breathing. Please. Liv, wake up. Ventricular fibrillation. Oh, he is. She's going into cardiac arrest. What can I do? There's an emergency defibrillator. There, in the medical locker, by the entrance. Apollo, the medical locker is sealed. You should be able to cut it open. Sehr spannend gerade hier. Oh, geh doch ab. I've got it. Quickly, connect the defibrillator to the side of the medical capsule. Hä? Wie denn? Ah. Defibrillator online. Attach the electrode panels directly to the medical capsule. The current will pass straight through. Posterior electrode in place. Anterior electrode secured. You need to pump the handle to build up a charge. When the power level reads blue, press the hollow button to administer the shock. Charging. Clear. No response. Again. 
I'm clear. Negative. Still in VFIT. Again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack. Maybe V flight. Clear. Jack. I can't only say it. She's gone. No. Again. Then, uh, Charging. Clear. Clear. Jack. <coughs> oh. I have sinus rhythm. She's alive. But she believed. Jack? You're going to be all right, Liv. Everything's going to be okay. Blood oxygen levels returning to normal. Heart rate 64 BPM. Ugh. She's stabilizing. I feel like death. Is that supposed to be funny? You frightened me. I thought I'd lost you. So you are going to miss me. <laughs> Hello, Captain Rhodes. I am relieved to see you are not dead. Thanks. You, uh... You want to let me out of this thing? Do respect, Captain. Protocol requires you remain... I do what she says, Apollo. Thank you. I'd like it noted for the record that I am strongly so, opposed noted. to this... Wahnsinn, wie ich die Augen aussehen. Are you sure you're all right? Just... just another sore. I'll manage. <laughs> Apollo, what's happening? Excessive damage to the power grid has triggered a rapid destabilization of the main reactor. What does that mean? If we don't find a way to stabilize the reactor, the containment field will collapse and destroy the ship. Options? Uh, there are a number of solutions I could attempt, but only one holds a reasonable chance of success. I'm not gonna like this, am I? We could execute a faster than light jump. The amount of energy expended by an MTL jump may be enough to stabilize the reactor. What would happen if we jumped? Where would we go? Unfortunately, I am unable to calculate a destination solution. In truth, we actually have a much bigger problem. Oh good. Because I was waiting for a much bigger problem. The last time this ship performed a faster than light jump, resulted in radical temporal displacement. Wait, you... You're saying if we jump, we're going to time travel? I'm not certain, but it is possible. Yeah. This is insane. The energy buildup is accelerating. We don't have much time. Yeah, Are we really doing this? I don't see how we have a choice. Yeah. We müssen spring. Execute the jump, we will need to redirect all available power to the FTL drive. This requires manually powering down all non essential systems. I will walk you through the procedure. Or we could just break them. Well, yes. I suppose that would also work. That's. That's rather brilliant, actually. Reactor destabilization. Apollo, in how do we access the primary system components? Use the engineering station to open the maintenance panels. All right, I'll expose the components. Jack, get ready to cut through as many of those systems as you can. Got it. There, panels open. Pick a system and start cutting. On it. Whoa. Primary weapon systems disarmed. I think it's working, Jack. Try another. Mega finale hier, glaube ich. Ja, ich cutte ja. Ich hänge gerade mitten im Kabel fest. Aber egal, er muss jetzt gehen hier. Viele Panels hier. Okay. 
Main engines report green. Ready to execute FTL jump. Do it, Jack Punch! FTL engaged. Jump in in three, two, one. Wow. Was jetzt? Jack. Ja, wir sind woanders, aber wo? Jackie, all right. Live. Look outside. Oh my god. Where are we? Stand by. Taking a reading now. Live. It's Saturn. No. No. I'm afraid Jack is correct, Captain. We are currently in geosynchronous orbit over Saturn. Apollo, what is the current date? Astrometric positioning would suggest we have arrived sometime in the mid-26th century. We jumped forward 400 years. Approximately. So this is your time. To put it simply, yes, this is my time. What happened here, Apollo? You were looking at the aftermath of a skirmish this ship was involved in prior to our meeting each other. Who are you fighting? Why were... What is that? Contact. Incoming vessel. More trouble? Negative. USN transponders. They're friendly. USN Australia, this is Transport Cruiser Juno. Do you copy? Liv, you should answer them. I should? Yes. You are the captain. I say again. Australia, do you read? Um, yes. We read you, Juno. This is Olivia Rhodes. Captain Olivia Rhodes. Copy that, Captain. We have a solid lock on your signal. We're also reading a tactical AI on board and a... Wait. I can't be right. I am an echo unit. Serial number E101-324. I'm sorry, Estrella. Did you say you were an echo unit? You can just call him Jack. An actual functioning echo unit? Must be quite a story there. Ja, ich funktioniere noch. Sit tight. Rescue teams inbound. ETA 10 minutes. Understood. Estrella out. So... We're stuck 400 years in the future. It would seem so, yes. Well, approximately. No way to get home. None. Okay. So tell me, what's the proper protocol for this situation? Improvise. Good answer, Jack. Ja, Leute, das war's mit Lone Echo. Wahnsinns Finale jetzt hier gerade. Bin immer noch ein bisschen geflecht. Besonders zum Ende hin. Schafft's Olivia jetzt oder schafft sie es nicht? Und dann das mit dem Zeitsprung, da habe ich noch gedacht, ja, kommt da jetzt noch was? Kommen die, die Leute rein, einen, einen retten und es geht noch ein bisschen weiter. Also ich hoffe echt, dass da noch ein zweiter Teil rauskommt. Weil das ganze Spiel, die Umsetzung, Gesichtsmimik Mimik von äh, Olivia, Wahnsinn. Da wurde auch mit Sicherheit richtig viel Zeit investiert, um das so umzusetzen. Ja, Fazit kann eigentlich nur sein, super gelungener Titel. Must-have für jeden VR-Spieler. Ich werde es nach einiger Zeit wahrscheinlich auch nochmal ein zweites Mal durchspielen, weil es echt genial war. Ja, ich hoffe, euch hat das Finale jetzt hier gefallen. Die ganze äh, Serie von Lone Echo. Ja, ich würde sagen, wir sehen uns einfach beim nächsten Mal. Ciao!